Oh yes, yeah. so in this trial we try to address the rule of a new ADC antibody drug conjugated, which is the sotomabedotin. This seems to be a very promising agent. Uh, it uh, targets the tissue factor, which is overexpressed in many solid tumors, including cervical cancer. In this trial, we combine this drug with the pembrolizumab and the carboplatin in different settings of disease, in patients without previous treatment, advanced or metastatic disease, but also in patients who have received prior therapy. The drug as a single agent has already been approved in the United States based on the results of a single arm trial reporting 24% response rate, but in this trial we want to address the combination. And the results were really interesting. In, uh, in combination with carboplatin in, in non-pretreated patients, the overall response rate was 55%. In combination with the pembrolizumab in a pretreated patient, uh, the response rate was 35%. But in the same combination, in untreated patients, the, the overall response rate was 43%. And what is interesting outside the activity, which is evident, is the long duration of response and also the early onset of response. Patient who respond, responds very early. The toxicity of the, this combination is mainly driven by the toxicity of tisotumab vedotin which typically has three kinds of toxicity. One is peripheral neuropathy, the other one is ocular toxicity, particularly in terms of keratinopathies and blood red vision, and the third one is bleeding because tissue factor is involved also in the coagulation pathway. But in this trial, most of these adverse events were grade one, two, Grade 3 were less than 5%, and particularly for ocular toxicity, we implemented during the trial several mitigation strategies with ocular drops, with corticosteroids and lubrificants, which make the treatment absolutely manageable. The landscape on cervical cancer treatment is changing. We have absolutely extraordinary data with immunotherapy in combination with chemo in the first line metastatic setting. Does mean that immunotherapy is uh, um, scheduled to move earlier and earlier in the treatment algorithm. So that we need drugs in patients who have already received immunotherapy. And antibody drug conjugated and in particular uh, will play a major role in this uh, scenario as a single agent. But more interesting in this trial are the combination with platinum and pembro, which make it a, an attractive alternative to platinum paclitaxel pembrolizumab in first line. And we are discussing the possibility to perform a randomized phase three trial comparing the platinum TISO and the PEMBRO plus or minus the bevacizumab versus the standard of care to try to change the standard and ameliorate oncological outcome and toxicity for our patients.